All right, so I figured I'd do this little video while I'm getting ready for the worst day of my life. Sorry, it's shaky. My tripod is out of nowhere. Um, anyway, we are doing a last minute audible taking our wild pack to a children's museum today. This was not previously scheduled. Jeff just wanted to do it last minute yesterday. And I know what last minute plans mean. It means stress for me. And so that's what this is right now. But I already gave him the talk. I said, listen, you're the one who wants to do this. If you want this to be a success and you don't want to be arguing and bickering all day, suggest you get on board and listen to what I got to say. Because it's a lot of stuff that you don't realize that we got to do to get these kids out of the house. Like we're down one kid. We only got three right now, but that's still a four-year-old and two two-year-old twins. Like, please, it's not easy. I had to, to do their hair yesterday. Open the door. And so I said, we need to be out this house by 1130. Open the door. It's open. Yeah. So let's see. Hi. Still got to do this hair. Look at this. The twins should be nice and juicy, but I'm not looking forward to it today. I'm going to keep y'all posted. Are you ready to have fun? Yeah. Are you going? We're going to be going somewhere fun. Are you going to go? No. Where are you going? I'll tell you later. Purple. Just realized we gotta put the car seats in the car, like the van is not even set up the right way. Oh my god, it's a lot. It's a lot, but we don't do it. And I get it, we're down one kid, so it'd be better to do this activity without the without the eight month old, but. Yeah, well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But it's naughty. It's you want me? You want to on here like that? Oh, okay. I like a boo boo stuff, but it's not boo boo. Just glue. Just a glue. You're so silly. I got your hair. You gotta get dressed. I do a birthday dress. No, you gotta get dressed. I'm gonna go pick up the shoes. You want the black one or do you want? Do you want? You want these? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You want these? And get makeup. It's taking me a minute to get used to this shiny look. I really don't like it. So I just toned it down with this thing, but it's still more shiny. It's still too shiny, but whatever. Apparently other people think it looks good to look sweaty. So I'm gonna just go with it. And maybe, maybe I'll get used to it. I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. I gotta go get this one ready. And then I gotta go get the twins ready and hope I don't have a mental breakdown. Let's go. All right, here is the video of the Twins and Jahar's hair routine. So this product right here, the Shampoo Buddy, made things a lot easier. Typically, I just do it in the tub and break my back, but not today. And we're going to be using Carol's Daughter's products. I mean, it's, it's all I had in the house. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite product, but it definitely will get the job done. So I just washed, shampooed, detangled, and then I made little rubber band styles for Zade. We put it into a ponytail for it to dry for the next day where we were going out. Did the same exact thing for Zarita, and um, she wasn't having it afterwards. This was late at night, by the way. So for Jahara, her hair is matted, as you can't tell. So I just quickly put it into a ponytail, put some two little braids on the side, crisscross them, and there we go. Cute little style. And then when Zayden and Zarita woke up, I just rejudged it with some water, um, put it back into a ponytail if he didn't want it in his face, and that's it. There you go. Quick fun fact. When my mother comes to help us out, she leaves these predetermined outfits so that just in case we have to go out with the kids, their outfits are already ready. It just makes things so much easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Show me your rock. Hey, Bubbush. You got dressed. Look at you. You look so cute, Bubbush. The girl. Hi. Hi. It's okay. Last one down. Let's go. It's past 11.30. Just in case anybody was wondering. I told him to bring the bags down. Here, bring these bags down for Daddy so he can put the stuff in the bag like I asked him to. Anyway, I end up putting the stuff in the bag myself. But these bags are so cute. They're from Lowy Boot and they have the tether so that way when the twins try to get all rowdy and try to run away, we can just snap them back. Ready that we made it? Say yay, you ready? You ready, Zay? You ready, Hara? What's up? We made it out there by the skin of our teeth. This girl thinks I'm gonna leave her dad. Daddy's coming. Yeah. Okay, it's her best friend. No, daddy's girl. Hi. Kitties, Hara. Is he excited? <laughs> yeah, we lost his shoe. We gotta wait. Where's your shoe, Papa? We love the Children's Museum so much, we got a membership because it seems like it's great even as the kids grow up. The twins, they have a, like a little toddler room, then they have a next level room, you know, like it just is very great how they have it sectioned out and there's so many different experiences for them to play in. Hey, do you want fire fire too? Come on, Zayden. 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 Come on, Z
Where's everything? <laughs> oh, you're a pirate. Ooh, we're a pirate, pirate, pirate. Oh. So this is their downstairs area. This will be a, probably a better area for Jahar's age or a little older. Um, it has some scientific facts. It has a doctor's office. It has a VR station. The twins really got a kick out of this skeleton. And then if you head upstairs, it has a whole entire grocery store, like a Publix grocery store with shopping carts, food, and everything. Your shopping cart is already full. Make sure you put stuff back when you're done. I love when we go and there's other kids because then she gets to experience the real life, you know, shopping experience. She gets a cashier. She gets to shop with other people. And, you know, it's, it just makes a better experience. And while they, while she was doing that, Zaid was over here playing with blocks. Then if you head upstairs, there's like a little fitness area and a diner. Um, you can see Zarita getting some of her energy out and Zaid getting his energy out in his own way. There you go, see? Now jump. Jump. <laughs> the Discovery Diner is one of my favorite parts. Um, it has so many cool facts about the food pyramid. It you know, has all these different foods that look very realistic. And the kids always have a blast. The twins just end up playing with the buttons, but it's still a good time for them. So this is the arts and crafts room. On every day we go, it's a different experience. So this day they had the light box. And then they also had these, um, since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, they had these, um, you know, green papers cut up so they can glue it onto a little four leaf clover or three leaf clover. And, um, they also have this little cute reading nook that Zaid really liked. He, you know, it's, it was a little quiet in that area. And then we got to just read a book together. Then after we read that, we went to the water play area, which is right outside. Um, they also have this big pirate ship in this area as well. But this is Aretha's favorite part. She loves to eat the water. I don't know why. Awesome. Yeah. Babe. Hey, you had a box over there. Hey, you I was so glad to find out that they had diapers and wipes, otherwise we would have had to cut this trip short. So while Zarita got her water play in, Zay played with his favorite things, which is cars and trucks. And then Jahara ended up joining him and made a whole hot mess with these, you know, these foam cinder block things they had. But they had a good time. And then I called Zarita doing this. So while the kids played outside, we and Jeff got a couple throws in with the football. Fun fact, I would have been a football player in high school had my father not shut down my dreams. And then they also have this cute little school bus where they can, you know, act like they're driving, beat the horn, close and open the door, push the buttons. It was really good. Then Jahar got stuck outside, so then she had to get Jeff to help her. All right, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's daddy. Say daddy. Yeah, me and outside probably going to help we have fun on this day but the best part was the way they napped afterwards all right see you guys later <laughs>